Oh man, that burned the crap out of me. Hey everyone, I'm Dave, and today we're making the world's best chicken soup. Well, at least we hope that's the case. As always on this channel, we Google the world's best recipes, we try them out, we see if they really are the best, and we have a lot of fun in the process. Chicken soup is the dish of the day. I was back and forth on chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. Are they the same thing? Are they different things? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and Google world's best chicken soup and see what we come up with. So it looks like the result is from ambitiouskitchen.com, and it looks pretty good. It's interesting, it's got couscous in it, is that how you say that? And a bunch of other interesting ingredients. Looks healthy, healthy's good. You know, it's a new year. We're all watching our waistline. And we're gonna get started by prepping the ingredients. Here's my little cutting board. Kinda cool, it's like a little cutting mat. I kinda like it. So before we get started, we have a little bit of prep work, not much, this is a really easy recipe. The onion and the uh, garlic, there's a couple veggies basically we gotta chop up. We've got celery we gotta work on. We got some thyme, some rosemary. All types of stuff. We'll go through it as we get to it. I'm just taking some of it out here. But let's start off with the garlic and the onion. So I just made a big mess, but we've got six cloves of garlic here that we're going to go ahead and chop up. And I've, I've seen people do it where they use like pre-chopped garlic. You can totally do that if you want. I don't know, I might be a little bit of a purist. Maybe at one point I'll, I'll go that path if I get a little bit lazy because it is kind of nice to just like squeeze it out of a bottle or something. Uh, but yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep all our ingredients that once we get them prepped, we cook them. I mean, this is, I'm just saying words at this point. Like, this is kind of gross, like a uh, nasty little thing there. All right, so yeah, take your garlic and, well, here, let me cut that gross part out. Can I do this without cutting my fingers? The age old question. All right, so we're gonna chop up our garlic nice and fine, and that's gonna go into our soup. This is a lot of garlic. Six tablespoons of garlic is no joke, so definitely a garlicky chicken soup. But yeah, back on the topic of chicken soup versus chicken noodle soup. In my house growing up, we always had chicken noodle soup. But when I actually like looked it up, it seems like the official name might be chicken soup. Or there's a whole nother thing that is chicken noodle soup because I'm not really convinced this has noodles in it. <laughs> uh, we should start this off like we always like to start it off by saying I'm not a professional cook. I'm just an average dad who likes to cook for his family. And the way I've always done that is by looking up recipes on the internet and just trying them out, seeing how they are. The whole concept of this channel, like I said, is to find the highest search ranking result and try to cook that and see if it really is the best of the best. All right, so I have like a, a little bit of a new setup again. We've done cooking outside here one time before and that was like two weeks ago, but I'm still definitely getting used to this whole outdoor cooking thing. Forgetting simple, simple things like a rag or <laughs> a knife, things like that. And I also realized I didn't have a garbage can out here. So I'm like making all this trash and I got nowhere to put it. But yeah, the way I like to do a recipe generally is I look at the ingredients and I try to prep a lot of them before I get to cooking. So right now I'm just getting the onion and the garlic ready so that when we get cooking, there won't be as much to do. Also, I always get the feeling of like being rushed while I'm actually cooking over heat. So and we've got an interesting tool to try to cook this today too. All right, so there's our onion peeled. It's a yellow onion. That's what the recipe calls for. So I try to follow the recipe exactly as it's stated. Usually I can find all the ingredients, but every now and then I can't. Today I was fine. I found everything I needed. So we're gonna do it exactly as it's in the recipe. There's only one slight variation, but the recipe said it was okay to do it that way. So I think we're okay. Whew, this knife needs to be sharpened really bad. <laughs> a lot of these cooking channels you watch, everyone's got like an insanely sharp knife because you know, they're basically just cooking for a living. That's not me, I got a day job. I got a million things going on. So I don't always have time to sharpen up my knives. Although I probably should. I need to make some room here. Use up all my cutting board space. Go ahead and put my garlic in this little silver bowl here just to get out of the way but yeah you may ask me why chicken soup dave well i'll tell you why chicken soup because i was sitting there and my son has been sick with like a flu kind of thing we all got sick recently it was a little christmas treat you know winter time most of us are better but my son's not feeling good still and i was thinking man maybe he'd like to have some chicken soup because you know chicken soup soothes the soul makes you feel better when you're not feeling great. So that was kind of the, the idea. And additionally, it's a new year, so I'm trying to cook something a little healthier. 
Uh, but don't worry, we've got some slightly unhealthy recipes in the back of my head right now too. One of the things I really want to cook, and maybe I'll cook it in the next video or maybe a couple videos, at some point here in the future I'm going to cook it, is something called Cincinnati Chili. I got recommended a video about Cincinnati Chili and ever since I've been wanting to try it. It's like some crazy chili they make in Cincinnati, Ohio, in Kentucky, and they put it on spaghetti and it's got chocolate in it, which, you know, you had me at chocolate. All right, anyways, our onions are pretty chopped up here. And I'm actually going to put the onions in with this garlic because they're all going to go into our pot at the same time. So might as well just get them all together right now. It gives me some more space to work with. All right, so I'm trying to recover because the onion make my eyes water, made my eyes water. And I think it's because my knife isn't very sharp. If your knife isn't sharp, I think more of the juices get shot up into the air and then you cry a little bit. You know, very emotional. But yeah, now we're gonna take some uh, celery and roughly chop it. Two stalks of celery is what we're looking for. Oops. Do you do the leaves? I'm gonna take the leaves out. I don't think I want leaves in there. I don't know. You tell me down below if you would have left the leaves. Now this is gonna be in a soup, right? So you can chop it as finely as you want, I would say. I'm gonna do bigger pieces because they will shrink down a little, I think in this soup, at least in the past when I've cooked celery, it shrunk down a little. And then we also need two large carrots, but I would call these two small carrots, so I might like throw in one more half a small carrot, because it's all they had at my Publix, so. And then finally chop these up. Some vegetables are just too loud to talk over. Carrots and celery are definitely some of those loud vegetables. Although they wouldn't make as loud noise if my knife was sharper, because I wouldn't have to push so hard. All right, so we're still just getting everything prepped. This is all going to go into a big soup pot, as you'd expect, pretty soon. I'm going to cut my fingers. Jeez. Now, everyone in the house is waiting for me to finish cooking dinner. They're all hungry. Trying to move quick. This is supposed to be a quick dinner, a quick family dinner, like uh, 40 minutes to make it, 30, 40 minutes. Oops. Are these going to go in with the same stuff? Let me check. Yeah, these are going to go in, too, with everything else, so we can add those to the onions and garlic. So now we got onions, garlic, carrots, and celery all in one nice little bowl. Perfect. All right, so what we want now, guys, is some rosemary. Is that what this is? Yeah, this is rosemary. Not Rosemary's Baby, that's a movie. This has nothing to do with that. Whew. Every time, oh man, every time I cook with this, the smell gets me. It's like so intense. We need a teaspoon of this, I believe, chopped up. So that's probably more than enough. Let's just go ahead and chop that up. And it's going flying everywhere. Beautiful. Making a big mess, like always not cooking if you're not making a huge mess. But yeah, it's a new year. I thought, you know, a nice healthy chicken soup would be just right for all the new year's resolutions and stuff. Everyone's trying to lose a little weight, take off the holiday pounds. Why not cook something at least moderately healthy? <laughs> I don't know. Is that fine enough? This knife is so bad. Oh man. I need to get my cutting board with a lip on it. Okay. I tried to sharpen the knife a little. I don't know. Let me feel it at least. Feels a little sharper. I used a knife sharpener, so hopefully we can get a little bit better of a cut. Although it's kind of hard to tell on this. Yeah, I think that's definitely cutting better now. Well, I'll know by cutting some ginger, because we have to do ginger too. So that's rosemary, it's all chopped up. We need one teaspoon of that. You also need some ginger, but not a lot of ginger. Well, actually, yeah, it is kind of a lot of ginger. You need one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna peel this ginger, like so. My little peeler, my little handy dandy peeler. And then we'll grate it with my grater. Ginger always looks like, like little fingers to me. Like little hands and little fingers. Creeps me out. Like that looks like a chicken foot kind of. <laughs> okay, so ginger can be slippery. I'm glad I cut it in half because it's on the ground over there and I can just grab another piece and try again. So make sure you don't drop your ginger on the ground. I can go wash that, but... My goodness, it's really hard to hold. Be careful with your ginger. It's not easy to hold. Whenever I have to really concentrate on something, I stick my tongue out. Do you do that too? Is that like a, a weird eccentricity? My kids do it too. So it's definitely something in my family. My dad even does it. And he's always done it as long as I've remembered. So something with my family, we stick our tongue, we're like, Mm, you gotta really focus. Somehow sticking your tongue out makes you focus more. So it says grated ginger. So I'm just gonna grate it. I'm not sure which side I should grate it on. What do you think? The big side? Maybe the littler side. I don't know. Let's try it here. Ow, my fingers. It's like just getting stuck in there. So I don't know if this is really working. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, this is, uh... <laughs> this is not great. It's all up in there still. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I was gonna say, do they sell it grated? But no, that's ground that I'm thinking of. It's all stuck in my... Hey, that worked. Ha ha, 
Just had to get a little violent with it. Let me get my tablespoon and measure that. Is that a tablespoon of ginger? Um, almost. It's a lot of ginger for a chicken soup. Am I reading this right? Yeah, one tablespoon fresh grated ginger. This is gonna be a really gingery soup. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I hope I do. Hopefully we're gonna have the world's best chicken soup. I'm just getting a little nervous about this. It's, you gotta be careful because you can cut your finger on this thing. I've done it several times and I'm hoping this isn't another one of those times. Oh my gosh, it's falling apart, guys. All right, we're gonna call this close enough to a tablespoon. Pretty goodly amount of ginger. Yeah, there we go. Tablespoon of ginger, we did it. We did it, we made a huge mess, but we did it. Okay, quick re-reminder, not a professional cook. Nothing like a professional cook. We're just trying to make something delicious and we're trusting in Google's power <laughs> to help us find the recipe we need. Here's our one teaspoon of the rosemary. I just wanna make sure I had enough of that. So this is all excess. And then we need a little thyme or thyme or however you wanna call it. How much do we need? I think another teaspoon, let me check. Yes, one teaspoon of thyme. And you know, obviously it would've been way easier for me to just pre-cut all this stuff and then just show you all the ingredients in a cute little bowl. That's probably what I should have done. But then the whole video would only take five seconds and what would you do then? You'd have to go like back to work or whatever. All right, so let's chop this up. Are you supposed to just do the leaves? I always, I always wonder with different spices and stuff, like is it the leaves and the stems with thyme? With rosemary, it's pretty obvious because it's like a tree. So it's like pretty clear that you don't wanna use the whole entire stick. With this, it's a little bit more questionable because it's not that crunchy. I totally could just use all this. Teaspoon of thyme, oh, I cut way too much. Okay, look at this. We got a tablespoon of ginger, minced or grated. Tablespoon of rose, teaspoon of rosemary, teaspoon of thyme. We've got two large carrots, two stalks of celery, a yellow onion, and six cloves of garlic. And I think that's all the prep work we need to do here. So the recipe now says you need to get a large Dutch oven, which that's what this is. Big giant pan like this. We're gonna put it on heat, medium high heat, and add in oil. It says avocado or olive oil, it's your choice. And you're gonna add that to the bottom. And then we're gonna pour this veggie mix on top of it. Why are we talking about it? Let's do it. I'm gonna move my cameras a little so you can see where I'm actually gonna be cooking right over here. And then we'll be back. All right, so we're basically at a little camp stove here. And it's, you can sort of see it. I don't think I can touch this. Is this hot? Let me see. This is getting hot. But yeah, see, it's just like one of these little camp stoves with actual open flames under it. And so we're just gonna have that going. Let me get the olive oil. You know, you gotta get thoroughly out of your comfort zone before you cook. That's always the fun way to do it. Let's add a tablespoon of olive oil into our pot. This looks like it's really hot. So I'm wondering if it's like, I might need to turn down the heat a little. It's supposed to be medium high, but that looks like it's scorching. And we're gonna add in our veggies. And we're gonna move those around. And typical to me being outside and not used to it, I didn't bring a spoon out or anything. So I'm just gonna use this measuring spoon and then I'll run and get a spoon in a second. Typical, typical day. Cutting off the top of my head too. All right, I got a spoon and I'm already burning the veggies a little. I feel like I didn't put enough oil in. I didn't really measure it, so add a little bit more. Or maybe it just cooked off really fast because this is a little hot. It's a little too hot, I think, still. I'm gonna bring it down. Even more, this camp stove isn't like a normal stove, but on your stove in your house, medium high is what you're going for. Okay, so while this gets nice and translucent, you want your onions to get basically clear. That's the goal here. Uh, you're gonna keep stirring it so you don't burn them, don't burn the garlic. And you also wanna get your turmeric and your ginger ready. Now turmeric I haven't talked about yet. Probably should have mentioned it before. <laughs> if you're now like wrist deep in cooking, I'm sorry that I was a little late on this but you do need some turmeric and you can either grate some turmeric like we did the ginger or you just do the ground turmeric it says in there. And as far as how much you need, it's just a teaspoon of turmeric. So a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of the ground ginger. So I'm just gonna measure that out. Ooh, that smells so strong. And I've got that at the ready. Oh, and make sure it's, it's actually a tablespoon of ground ginger or minced ginger or keep forgetting the word. Grated ginger is what it calls for. Tablespoon of grated ginger. Okay, so now my heat's a little too low, I think. And turn it up a little again. I just gotta get used to this little stove. I think it's gonna work well once I get used to it. And it's got three burners on it. I can be cooking multiple things at once. I think it's gonna work out. I just gotta get in the hang of it. There's nothing better than being super uncomfortable when you're cooking. <laughs> can you tell? I'm like nervous and stuff because this is such a different setup. Now, we gotta talk about the chicken. This recipe calls for either chicken breast or chicken thighs. Obviously boneless and skinless would be the way to go. Uh, my store was actually literally sold out of chicken breast. 
So they only had chicken thighs, so that's what we're doing. Honestly, chicken thighs are a little better to me anyways. You shouldn't need to chop them or anything. You're just gonna throw them in here. I would say these onions are looking translucent. So I'm gonna add in the turmeric, one teaspoon, kind of spread it all over the veggies there, and the tablespoon of minced, not minced, grated ginger. And we're gonna mix that in. And pretty soon we're gonna add chicken broth, chicken, those sorts of things to turn this into a soup. Uh, the chicken broth is low sodium. That's what the recipe calls for. But I'm sure you could use normal sodium if you wanted to. That's kind of a preference thing. I, I like my salt, so I might have used normal if it hadn't called for the low and I wasn't trying to follow the recipe exactly. But you just want to spread all these spices all over the veggies, according to the recipe. And mind you, I'm not, as I said, I'm not a professional cook, so anytime I tell you to do something, it's because of what the recipe says. And we're just trying this recipe. We're seeing if it's right, and if so, then you guys can go make this yourself. You can follow along in the video. You can look at the recipe online. Whatever you want to do to have your own world's best chicken soup. I just realized that I only bought one thing of chicken broth, and I need uh, six cups, but there's only four cups in each thing of chicken broth. So I had to run inside and risk burning my food so I could see if I had six cups in there and I did. So what you want to do is you want to do four cups which is like it's usually a whole one of these. A whole one of these little cans or boxes full of chicken broth. We're going to add that and then we're going to measure out two cup to equal six total and this is like the the base of your soup so you need that. All right here's another two cups we're going to add in. There we go. Stir that around and we've got more ingredients to add now and then we're going to bring it to a boil. So we're going to add in our rosemary at this point and our thyme. Mix those in. Those are gonna add a lot of flavor, I'm betting. I'm excited about that. Then we wanna do a pinch of salt and a half teaspoon. Oh, actually it says a half teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper or pepper to taste. We're just gonna do like that much pepper. I like pepper. <laughs> and a half teaspoon of salt. I've got some sea salt here, feeling a little crazy. And that should be a half teaspoon there. I know I didn't measure it guys, but that was about a half teaspoon. You have to take my word for it sometimes. <laughs> Doing my best here. So we're gonna stir this up. We're gonna add our chicken now. Like I said, it's chicken breast or chicken thigh and it calls for one pound. And it looks like I have 1.6 pounds. So I'm not gonna add all this chicken, but I'll add a good amount of it. That's like just a, a chicken thigh right there. It's a little fatty. You definitely could, and maybe I should remove the fat there and think about that. I don't know, what would you do? Three, I'm gonna do four of them. That should be about a pound because it's a pound and a half in here. Add those in, we're gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna try not to get chicken hands on my spoon here. The chicken's on the tips, okay? Chicken's on the tips. The dry, it was dry in the back. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands because my sink, I bought a sink right there. There's like a sink that I'm gonna hook up out here. But as of right now, I've got to go back inside to wash my hands. So I'll be right back. All right, so right now, oh, my spoon fell. We want the broth covering the chicken, so let's move it around a little. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the couscous ready. So instead of calling for noodles, this calls for couscous. And that always makes me think of Emperor's New Groove. Couscous! <laughs> oh, llama face. Remember that? It's a good movie. I'm all over the place, guys. If this is your first time watching a video, I have ADHD. And uh, not ashamed to admit it. So we're doing a cup of couscous. We're gonna fill this up to the top here and that's gonna be like our pasta kind of, but I don't really think couscous is a pasta, is it? I think couscous is like a rice. I don't know. I actually have no idea what it is, but it's not what I think of when I think of chicken soup. I think of like some hearty egg noodles or something like that, but this is calling for couscous, which is definitely different. So we're almost at a boil here, a little bit longer. And look at all the color in there. It looks really gorgeous. Look at that. I'm excited about this. It's also partially because I had a long, hard day at work today and I'm like just tired and hungry and I'm ready to eat some dinner. You with me? Hopefully that'll help this become the world's best chicken soup. All right, we got a pretty hearty boil on the soup now. That's pretty good. So what we're gonna wanna do now is add this couscous, 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 I don't know. One cup of that and stir that in there. It says to reduce the heat to a medium low and to simmer. So I'm gonna bring my heat way down here and we wanna simmer this. Make sure that your chicken is fully covered by broth. You want it submerged if possible, which I think we're good right there. Now this is gonna simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. So quite a while, cause we gotta cook this chicken all the way through. You can leave it uncovered. You're supposed to leave it uncovered, it says. And we've got a couple more steps. It's not done. When it's done with its cooking, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna shred it. We're gonna tear it up into more digestible chicken sizes basically. And we're also gonna be adding frozen and peas, so be ready for that. We'll be back, I'm gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and we'll be back and we'll see if the chicken's done. Listen, I know what you're thinking. Dang, Dave, that looks really good. Well, it smells incredible. It smells so good. I really wanna eat this, but we're not done yet. We gotta do a couple more steps. It's been 20 minutes. We're gonna pull out a piece of chicken and we're gonna temp it. I'm a little bit of a nervous Nelly when it comes to salmonella. So it definitely looks like it's been cooked, 190 degrees, 197. So yeah, it certainly looks cooked. It's only been 20 minutes, 194. 
84, 180, 200. I mean, this is cooked. This chicken's fully cooked. So what you wanna do now that your chicken is fully cooked is take it out with a slotted spoon, bring it over to a cutting board, and we're gonna shred it up. So let me do that real quick. Let's see, can I get just a piece of chicken without a bunch of other stuff? The slotted spoon is supposed to allow this stuff to fall down under it. One, I think I ended up putting five pieces in here, so. Two, and we're just gonna leave this on low heat and let it keep simmering. That flavor, I think, is just gonna permeate even more. Three, the chicken's all yellow from the turmeric. It's interesting, the whole thing is yellow, very colorful. Four, and one more piece of chick chick. All right, so we're at our cutting board here and we're just gonna rip this stuff up, basically. This is our main protein. We're just gonna use two giant mega forks like this and just tear into it. And this is just gonna make it nice and bite size. And I definitely have some couscous over here, but that's all right. Just mince this up. Again, definitely the wrong cutting board for this. I should have probably grabbed a wooden cutting board, but you know, I'm outside, I'm learning the ropes out here still. This whole entire counter is kind of a cutting board, so I'm not that worried about it. If you want to, you can use your hands if you're brave, but it's pretty probably gonna be really hot and melt your flesh. So I don't know if I'd recommend that. The temptation's there, cause it would be way easier with my hands than it is with forks, I'll be honest. I guess you could also use a knife and chop it up if you want it to be even smaller pieces. All right, I think I'm calling that shredded enough for the soup. So we're gonna take this cutting board over and we're gonna pour it back into the soup. There we go. Try to get all these yummy good things in there too. All right, so now we wanna just stir in this chicken and we're gonna add our frozen peas at this point. That looks pretty good. The recipe calls for two thirds of a cup. So we're gonna add that, get some green in there, really add that extra color. Now, this is pretty thick. The recipe says at this point, if you so desire, because it's a pretty thick soup, you can add another cup of chicken broth. And I think I might. To me, this is a little thicker than soup should be, so I might add one cup of chicken broth. Now, I'm doing it because the recipe says I can. If the recipe didn't suggest this, I wouldn't do it because I want to really see if it's the world's best. I did three quarters of a cup. All right, so that's all in there. I almost want to let it warm up just a little bit now that I put that. It was kind of ice cold, that chicken broth. So maybe I'll like let it cook for another two minutes just to get nice and hot. And then we're going to try this and see if it really is the world's best chicken soup. I'm going to move my cameras back over there so we can do our taste test. Okay, let's pull this off and let's test it out. All right, there we go. Give it one more quick stir. Oh, it looks really good. I, you won't even believe how good this smells. Let me get it on to a, uh, into a bowl. We're gonna try this out. I don't know if this is, I gotta get like a serving spoon, but I'm just gonna use this uh, measuring cup. This'll work. There we go, how's that look? That over here, this'll be right here. And we're gonna try this. And I'm gonna try not to burn my mouth, but you know, there's no guarantees in this world, guys. A burn mouth is a good thing, right? Let's give it a whirl. Get some chicken in there. Oh, it's hot. Hmm. Okay, let me try it with some chicken though, because I feel like I didn't get any chicken. I gotta blow on it too. Can I get like a piece of everything? Some chicken, a carrot, some celery. Yeah, see the celery really kinda softened up big time, huh? All right, it's kind of a big chunk of chicken. Maybe I should have made the chicken a little smaller. Oh man, that burned the crap out of me. Mm. It's good though. It's really good. Oh, it's really hot. I just burnt my tongue. Dang it. I hate it when I burn my tongue. It's the worst. <sighs> Let's let it cool for a minute. According to the recipe, one serving of this is only like 269 calories. Again, I'm not normally that concerned about calories, but the fact that it's so little is appealing to me. Uh, it says one sixth of the pot. And this has chicken thighs instead of breasts, so maybe it's a little more, but I still think it's probably under 500 calories. And don't worry, next time we'll do something high calorie, but I wanted to go a little low calorie today. This tastes really good, I love it. Uh, best chicken soup, let's think. Comparing it to like a chicken noodle, I mean, this is definitely the most flavorful chicken soup I've ever had, but that's because my mom used to just make the can of Campbell's, which was like super watery and just pure salt, so. This has a lot more going on. I would definitely prefer this. So for me, it is my favorite chicken soup I've ever had. I recommend you try it if you want something warm this winter season. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to see more of the world's best recipes, and we'll see you next time.